I'm finally ready to finish this dough. Uh, if you remember that I, I fed it twice, I prepped it last night, put it in the refrigerator. I took it out this morning, it's been sitting out for several hours. And now we're ready to go ahead and finish the dough. Now again, this process is not as hard as it seems. It's just, it's a process and it's something that guides my week and creates a structure for me that I really love. So let's go ahead and turn and see what we can do with this, with this bread dough, get it finished and then let it rest. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add two and a half or two and a quarter teaspoons of salt to this eight and a half, nine ounces of flour that I've got out this morning. I'm not gonna bore you with measuring it. Two and a quarter. Not very accurately measured. And I just kind of stir it up. And if you watch the Michael Pollan video, you're gonna find the he puts the salt in water and all that good stuff. This method works for me. <clears throat> I've never had any issues, so I don't worry about it. I'm here to have some fun and make some bread and not to worry too much about things. So let me get my spatula. We're gonna transfer this almost finished bread dough, which looks like this right now. It's all bubbly. It's gotten a little bit stickier. I'm gonna put it into this bowl for the mixer. Transfer this puppy in. I always enjoy this part. It smells so good. It's just wonderful. Put it in there. And I just go ahead and fill that bowl with water. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of this mixture in here. Get started. I don't have a seal for my mixer, which is something I would really like to have. I'd love to buy a new mixer so the flour doesn't fly out. But this is what I've got for the moment. <clears throat> Again, you can see the countertop is low. So I've got two, you can't see it actually, but it works better for me to have a lift bowl than it does to have one that, where the top comes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it. And I'm gonna scrape down the sides to get started a little bit. And then I'm gonna start adding flour a little bit at a time. You can see it's going to jump out of there. Depending on the day, I don't have a lot of flour to clean up afterwards. I'm going to do this until all this is mixed up and then I'm going to let it mix for about seven minutes and I'll get back to you at that point. Okay, we are just about done with this bread. I'm going to turn it off. Let's go. And I always think this thing looks a little bit like a stomach inside the machine. Try to get it off the dough hook and pull it up. And you can see, I'm going to pull it out and put it into my bowl. It's going to be. Come on, guy. I've kneaded it a little longer and added a little bit more bread this time to see what the difference is. Do little experiments. As you go. So, I love the way this looks. It always has a little bit of a glossy look to it. A certain texture. And this is simply gonna sit there for um, several hours. Then anywhere from an hour and a half to four hours. It's very forgiving. Today it'll probably be two and a half, three hours. And that's, that's it. And I will see you next time for the next step in a little bit.